Okay, I'm working on the inside right pillar here. And uh, what I've done is, so I had had to uh, do a repair on this because the this piece was uh, rusted out. And uh, I also cut it out because I needed to get this hose on there. Which, uh, I'm trying to not damage the hose. So far it looks pretty good. Um, so uh, what I've done is, cut this out a little bit more smoothly and I've fabricated this piece here with the hole in the same place and uh, it's ready to weld in place. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just try to weld this in place without messing it up too bad and then here I'm gonna have to stretch the weld across because it's the gap is a little too big. Um, but seems like it should be should work out okay i uh, just want to try to not damage that hose so um all right let me uh i'm going to set up this camera over here and uh try to uh get this welded in place Okay, well, that is what it's gonna be. So, there's still a tube in there. This is uh, welded, I'll grind it down as flat as I can. This comes down, the contour looks pretty good, as opposed to over here. This looks really ugly, but I'll take my uh, Dremel here and let me round out this hole real quick. All right, I'll try this, doing this with the camera here. All right, well, let me grind this down here and uh, let's see if this looks any good. Okay, well, this is what this looks like. So it's a, uh, you know, a decent metal fix here. 
I'm gonna go over it <coughs> with a little bit of, uh, you know, this seam sealer and so this whole thing will get, uh, you know, I'll probably put a little bit of Bondo over this, sand it down. This will all get seam sealer pretty thick. You can see that there are these big globs of, I guess that's probably factory seam sealer there, but uh, I'm gonna go over this and just make sure that um, there's no holes. Like, look at that, that's a big glop. Um, so I'll do the same with my seam sealer. Um, I think I don't need to do any more metal here. I think I can probably just do seam sealer on all of this in here and uh, go from there. Then I, this is all gonna be covered with carpet. You can see there was some kind of reddish junk on here, but um, I'll probably spray a uh, wire brush this and spray some rust reformer on it. Um, and uh, I'll go over these areas here with a little bit of the a little bit of the um, fiberglass bondo. See this one? I mean they they don't look that good. But this one looks pretty good, actually. I'm kind of happy with the way this one turned out. Um, this one over here, I really had to mangle it, so that's going to need some significant uh, filler just because that's dented in a little bit. Um, but overall, you know, making progress on this. Um, and uh, the other thing I want to try to do today is to connect these Y tubes. So I have um, two Y tubes like this, and they uh, I believe. Let's see. I just have to make sure that I uh, put the correct Y tube on the correct side. Um, I think yeah, this one was on this side. And uh, so I'll have to uh, just ensure that I, okay, let's see, I'll set this here. And... So if I put this Y tube in, there's a little weld here that used to match up with the weld there. So I know the orientation was just like that. So then what I need to do is, I need to make the uh, tubes actually uh, line up here in terms of the, the air getting through. So that one was like that. Over here, this one still has a connector on it, so I think I have to break that off. <coughs> this connector I'm gonna to need to do something else here because this thing is kind of jagged sheet metal so this one here I'll just bit, take this off and I'm gonna fabricate my own piece like this but there's also some old seam sealer on there uh, let's see So this thing will go on like this. So again, I just have to make sure that's on there. So I make sure the orientation of these is right and I am going to I have to get some sheet metal and fabricate a connection. So first I have to, I will spot weld this into place. I probably will drill a couple of holes just partially into this, but through this, and then I'll do two plug welds, maybe three if I get one on the bottom. And then here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, fabricate some kind of a piece out of some 
bent uh, sheet metal. Probably go around the outside of this and uh, connect that. Same over here. We'll connect the... This one is, it seems a little closer here, but... Um, and then these are the um, connections for the, uh, for the heater. I think this thing is bent, I don't know why. Straighten that out. You can see this one over here has a little rubber nub on it, but that connects to those two heater cables that come out. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to get that into place. And, I said, get some something here to connect these tubes. Okay, well, so what I did is I took these uh, two Y tubes and uh, I welded this one onto the back and it has this front section that requires a, a wrap around a piece of sheet metal. Uh, as I said, this is what it used to look like. So I'm gonna make a new piece. Um, on the other side, here I did that as well. And that will also require a piece of sheet metal here, which I'll uh, sort of fabricate and uh, weld into place. I don't think, you know, none of these things seem like they're <laughs> totally airtight anyway. <laughs> it just kind of blows the air through and up into these channels and out here. And so, um, you know, this is coming straight off of the uh, air-cooled, uh, you know, that air coming through the heat exchangers. So, you know, that'll get some, that'll get some air pressure. And then this, this here opens and closes the diverter. There's that one. And then there's this one. That probably needs a little WD-40 and just, uh, I need the new rubber nub here on the other side. Um, but... That looks pretty good, so I'll work on uh, fabricating a couple of pieces for this. All right, this is Y tube number one. So underneath, I did a uh, weld of a strip onto there, and then I made this one have like a little bit of a tab. And then I'm going to weld this into place here. So I'll just set this down and take a look.
All right. All right, well, might be overkill, but here's what I've got. So this is my Y tube on the right side, comes in and the underside, it, uh, you know, it's pretty much solidly welded into place. I don't think that's going anywhere. Here's the left side. So it's welded there. This is really welded, um, ground down and the underside here. So, um, then I did the front left pillar. Looks like this needs a little bit of, uh, smoothing out. Um, and then I've got, uh, the front right, which looks like this. So what I'm going to try to do today is, um, yes, front left and this area here, this area here and front right. And so what I need to do is get a little bit of, um, fiberglass uh, bondo into this area, this area, this area, and this area, and then probably also these areas here. Um, and then what I'll do is do a final kind of sand down of those areas. Um, and then I'll do the seam sealer in here and here, here, and um, then, uh, then, you know, that'll be pretty much, um, you know, all the metal work and uh, then I can just start cleaning up. I need to sand, wire brush and sand this down. Um, I started doing that here, you can see, but uh, I'll need to uh, do a pretty good job of that so that I can paint or paint the entire interior, you know, it'll wind up basically getting rust reformer because look at how, what I've got on here. I've got some rust. Uh, I need to clean that off, uh, wire brush it, rust reformer. And then that'll act as my primer as well. And then uh, I'll probably put some of the white primer on top of the rust reformer. And then, uh, after I get the white primer on there, I'll put the Lotus White on. Look here. This is where I did Well, I think it's uh, coming together here a little bit. Really what I want to do is try to get this closer and closer to being able to prime and paint it. But uh, it, it is a lot, a lot to be done. But I mean, this is all the rough stuff here. So, yeah, I'll probably try to get this all sealed up here. Uh, now that I have the metal work in place for the uh, for the Y tubes. Yeah, those are nicely solidly in place. Um, all right.